What's going on guys? We're uh we're off on our way. Check out a 2012 CRF 450. Uh, we're currently in uh, where the hell are we right now, dude? We're in mass somewhere. I'm just worried. We got 20 minutes to spare, so this kid needs to be he needs to leave his house for 3:30. Um, we're currently 40 minutes away. This kid needs to leave his house at 3.30. It is 2.30 right now, so we're gonna have about 20 minutes to look at the bike. My projected arrival time is 3.11 right now, so... And we're in traffic, so it's not looking too good, but... It's not gonna stop me, so... This kid has it, had it listed at 22. Uh, looks pretty nice, 2012 Sierra 450. Um, we'll see, you know, it's always a different story when we get there, so... Um, it's a pretty far ride. I'm like two hours in, or no, I'm like an hour and maybe 15 in. And like I said, we got another 39 minutes to go. Arrival 310. All right, we're making progress, but we are still stuck in traffic, as you guys can see. So hopefully we get there on time before this kid has to leave for work, because this is a good deal. The bike's probably worth maybe 33 or something. I don't know, I'm not exactly sure, but I know it's worth, worth more than two grand, so I couldn't I couldn't pass that up. The kid told me two grand would be his bottom, but we'll get there, we'll see. See if we can do some talking. If not, I think two grand's a good price, as long as the bike checks out. We are, let's see, move my strap. I am so thirsty. I just want them, I got three bitches with me, they want So, what's up guys? So I pay $1,800. Uh, we already have ordered some new graphics. These are ugly and they say, oh, I should, probably shouldn't put that on screen. Um, they say the guy's name from before. Uh, seat cover's all, someone didn't put it on right. So we ordered one of them. So we got 1900 bucks into this bike total because the graphics were 70 and the seat cover was 23, bike was 18. Um, I also might get a new gas cap or at least the hose. And then I'm hoping we can clean up these grips. We're about to power wash the bike. We'll see if these grips come clean. They're pretty grimy right now, but uh, let's see what else. Here's this other grip. I might paint this lever black so they match and that one's definitely gonna need some new paint so it would focus. All right, here we go. So the bike um, definitely needs to be cleaned real well. It was raced. Um, not that it matters, because a lot of the time people who race take better care of their bikes, but that is definitely not supposed to be like that. So maybe, you'll, maybe we'll bend that back out, but we got an FMF pipe on here. Uh, I'm not sure if this shock is factory connection or not. But I know the front front ones are. Where's the little tag? Oh, over here. Factory connection. We got Pro Taper bars, I believe. Yep. Um, what else? Yeah, so probably can make some good money off this bike. I was just looking though, and this looks crooked. So I'm hoping that's the fender and not the subframe. So we might have to take a look into that, because that's not good right there. But other than that, we're going to clean the bike up. It's definitely real dirty in these crevices. It's going to look so much better once we clean it. I haven't power washed the bike. I haven't, I've literally done nothing. Kid before me said this bike was rebuilt. Um, but I'm going to have to take a look at the air, air box as well. Change the oil. And yeah, let's, let's get to it, guys. We're probably just going to wash it for now, and um, I'll do that other stuff a separate day, but this will be the same video. It's got really good compression as well. I can't push real hard right now because it's on the stand, but like I said, 2012. So yeah, it's going to look so sweet when uh, we get these new graphics. These are ugly. We get these new graphics and seat cover. It's OEM, the seat cover. It's just, um, I might have to clean it up a little bit. So guys, this is just going to be a basic first cleaning, like I'm not going to go into depth with uh, 
like any Maxima high gloss or I might throw some Eagle One on it. I don't have much left and I'm going to throw some degreaser on it and just power wash it. Other than that, there's no point in putting high gloss on it right now because I'm not, I'm not prepping it for sale yet. So we still got some work to do before we do that. So we got the plastics off, they're over here, we cleaned them up real nice, um, as you can see they're looking pretty good. So those are no longer, uh, we cleaned the bike up a little bit, scrubbed the frame, we still got some scrubbing to go to do, um, as you see, as you guys can see I made a mess with this Mag 1 or uh, Eagle 1 mag cleaner which works really well but like you make a mess really easy um, I cleaned the filter have yet to get this stupid thing back on it's a pain I gotta do that in a few minutes um, right now we're working on the chain uh, let's find a dirty point for you guys All right, well you guys get the point and then there's the fresh one that I'm working on um, so we got that going um, we're just cleaning the bike up as a whole with our Mag 1 and our degreaser and whatnot. Um, so it's cleaning up fairly well. We definitely still got a lot of work to do. We're going to try to put the graphics on today. Bought these graphics for like 70 bucks. They don't, they're not as bright of a red as I would like, like as you guys can see, which I'm kind of not happy about, but. I'm going to reserve judgment until I put them on, so they're all right there. Really excited with how uh, the CRF's coming out. Um, if you guys are excited for the next video, make sure you subscribe or whatever so you stay tuned. Um, and yeah, peace out guys.